Uh, right now, the traditional way in which you study the common law is to divide it up into segments and to worry less about the way in which the pieces fit together and more about the details of each particular area. There is a great tendency to think that the rules that evolve in each of these particular boxes is arbitrary, artificial, and without any real sense. Uh, what I'm going to do today is to try and reverse the process and show how it is that when you look at the four major branches of common law, property, contract, tort, and restitution, uh, they fit together to form a much more coherent whole. They are taught as separate classes, but in fact there's a deep intellectual unity amongst them. If you can see the way in which the three parts fit together, how it is that the rules that give you acquisition of property set the stage for voluntary transactions, and how the torts law prevent those things by being, from being disrupted by outsiders, all of a sudden the particular rules now take on a form, and when you see them you can understand their functionality and rationality. If you put them together, uh, what happens is you now have a coherent whole, and you could go from the beginning of a series of social relationships to the end and understand why the pieces in fact fit together.